Thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I'm very grateful for your initiative. Uh, I think today has been a very good opening of uh, the World Water Day uh, with a discussion on uh, the relationship between water and sanitation on the one hand and the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, as you know, uh, 885 million people in the world don't have safe drinking water. Uh, many knows, know that I often raise my glass. This is a luxury for almost a billion people in the world. Uh, it's a dream to have uh, safe drinking water for almost a billion people. Uh, 2.6 billion people don't have sanitation, which is a nice word for toilets and latrines. We don't seem to speak about that as openly as we should. Uh, that means 40% of humanity lives under conditions which are conducive to, to uh, disease and death. I've seen it myself. I was a special envoy in Darfur. By the way, that's where our f we, we have known each other for many years, but we worked together also in Darfur. And you know from Libya and Chad and, uh, and Darfur how the problems of drought and, and how the problems of, of um, uh, lack of water grows. It's a, it's a huge problem, and I've seen... I've seen poisoned wells in the fighting. I've seen uh, women screaming for water, uh, chanting water, and walking for hours to get water. And then I've seen uh, children with, color, with uh, diarrhea and dysentery dying more or less in front of my eyes. Uh, so therefore, I, I, I'm deeply committed to this issue. I think we, we need to really mobilize efforts. It's a um, humanitarian tragedy, but it's also an affront, as I said this morning, to, to uh, to uh, human dignity. It's in fact a human right to uh, have water. It's, it's right to life, Article 3 of the Universal Declaration. And I belong to those who claim yet that it should be seen also as a human right. So here we have a very important uh, uh, need for mobilization. And today's effort, Mr. President, was, uh, I think, a contribution to, as you said earlier, connecting this to the uh, Millennium uh, Development Goal Review, which will take place in September, which is so important. We need to give this momentum. Uh, the financial crisis and uh, the global issues that are so large seem to take over and weigh over, and people start to feel hopeless. We cannot accept that. Nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. And here in this room today, in the trusteeship room, we saw representatives of international organizations, primarily UN, of course, but we also saw uh, regional organizations, we saw the governments, we saw the non-government organizations, we saw the business side, uh, research universities, all are there. And I think by that sending the message that we have to accept more or less a division of labor, not give up in front of the problem, but face up to it, to take our responsibility uh, on each sector. I also think governments need to give higher priority to water assistance. Only it varies from the so-called donor community from 1% to 14% in terms of the percentage of aid going to water or sanitation issues. I think we need to really push for a higher percentage. And also the national uh, administrations to give the water issues higher priority because it has such a tremendous bonus effect. If you invest $1 in water or sanitation, you get eight or nine dollars back by higher productivity, a different type of life also for, for women. And the Millennium Development Goals do not only uh, in, in consist of the water, MDG 7 on water. Water is related to number one, extreme poverty, uh, number uh, three, uh, gender equality and women's empowerment, number four, uh, uh, maternal uh, child mortality, and number five, maternal health. So water is the key to the uh, achievement of the Millennium Development Goals. And it's about time we realize that. So thank you very much for doing this, Mr. President. I, I think this will give momentum to a serious approach to the meeting in uh, September, where we have to deliver. This is about your international solidarity, but it's also about the enlightened self-interest for all of us.